bring this stuff up. Now I'm straining this ground beef. While I'm straining the ground beef, I have my kidney beans in here already. All I'm gonna do, I got uh, diced tomatoes. I put diced tomatoes in my chili. I don't know about y'all, but I know I do. So just put those diced tomatoes on in there. I don't know if I want two cans. I'm just doing two cans. Just regular old diced tomatoes. Paper towel, so I can put my um. Go ahead and put my um. Ground beef in there, cause this chili about to be ready. This chili about to be ready. Y'all know what's next. You just stir it, stir it up. Get it all stirred up together with the ground beef and stuff. Charles done finally made a deck from the store. He hungry, I'm hungry. I'm like, we all hungry. And let me turn this eye on. I'm gonna do grilled cheese over there. So let me turn this eye on. Just stir this stuff up. Okay. You get it what you get. Yeah, that ain't something I'm doing. What door? You know the car door is up. The who? The black car. No lock. Oh, what's wrong with it? Oh. Hold on, y'all. Let me wash these little dishes. I don't know if I'm gonna do cheese toast in this or I'm doing it in the other thing. Okay. Okay, now what we doing next is we putting in the cheese, the season, the chili season. Okay. So how I do mine, I pour a pack. Then I add some water. Okay. And then I stir. 
If this thing on, I don't know. This one ain't on. It's getting hot, but it ain't getting hot, hot like this one. See, that one getting hot too, but keep going on. But anyway, how about we move it over here? Okay, well, just like I did, I've added one. I stir with water. I know that ain't enough. I add another. Add another pack and get some more water. Pour it in there. So now y'all I'm watered out. It ain't watery, but I don't I don't I don't do water chili. Not no whole bunch of water chili. But I probably can add a little bit more water in here. But other than that, I'm not watered out. But I can like do a little taste test and see what it tastes like. Not the beans, but the chili. Mmm. I'm probably gonna do another pack of season. I can. And you know with that, it's gonna have a little bit more water. But it's gonna thicken it all up. It's gonna thicken up. But use another pack. So another thing, y'all, the water stretches it, so won't so it won't be so salty. All right, and then you just take it and you stir, stir it around. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like. That's what it look like. It ain't watery. I don't like no water chili. I don't want no soup. I want some chili. But yeah. Alright then y'all I'm gonna let it do its thing and um make my grilled cheese. I need to put this on that. I can't turn it down. Okay, y'all. Now we're gonna make grilled cheeses. And my meal will be completed. Then. 
let me chill in. Turn this sucker down, honey. I don't want to burn cheese toast. And my paper plate. Get my bread out. Let's get this started. Get it started. Let's get it started. Okay, let me this chili. Oh yeah, this chili looking absolutely delicious. Delicious. Let me turn it down some. Okay, let's, that's down, that's down. Okay, let's start on these grilled cheese. Okay, y'all, well, I might do mine a little different than how everybody do theirs. And I think mines take a little bit more time than how regular people do theirs. But what I do to mines is I toast mines on both sides. Okay? That's how I do mine. One side might be lighter than the other one, but sometimes this cheese don't act like it want to melt. They're going to get that cheap cheese, but we got some Balbita cheese. So I get mine buttered on both sides. like that I don't start smashing yet I don't start smashing the, the bread yet oh this chili y'all this chili is so thick oh my god Woo. just get it brown on that side it's not going to take a long time for me to do it but I'm just gonna get done the way I want my eyes done. What this side look like? Well, it ain't it ain't brown, but it is. Cause then I do that. I that's just to get the side hot. I do this. Put the cheese on it. on top of it. Then after that, I take it and I do it just like that. Sit it on now. Then I start smashing it. I'll probably be a little high, y'all. I don't like cheese toast the fry real. Okay, y'all, this chili It's done. Let me turn it off. Before it gets to start sticking and scotching and burning, I just turn it off. Just hot, nice and hot. Okay. What this look like? Okay. Whoop, there it went. Let me 
be a piece of paper towel. Oop, there it went. Thought you knew. Yeah. And if that's how I flap, yep. I ain't burning no cheese toasters now. I don't like no burnt grilled cheese. I like them cooked out. But yes. That butt on on there too. You know, I'm on now. Turn it up, turn it down for more. Okay, that's how you, that's how you make them cheese toasts, y'all. It ain't burnt, but it look like, it might look like it is, but it ain't. It ain't burnt. Come on, get me some more butter. Now they finna go fast. Now they finna cook pretty fast. Now they finna cook pretty fast. I got the grease. I got the topping. That is hot a little bit. Stick on this chili. The chili won't stick. Okay. Alright. Okay, y'all. I got that. I got the first thing popping. And showcase shopping. Hey. But yeah. That's what we're making now. We're making grilled cheese for the chili. There you go. That's what we doing now. And then we'll have a complete Sunday dinner, lunch, all of it. All in one. Okay, turn it back up. It's gonna be scrumptious. Scrumptious. But yes, y'all. That's what we doing, yeah. Just like I told y'all, y'all don't forget, don't y'all wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Y'all don't forget about don't forget about to go order these seasonings. I have beef, all purpose, and chicken season. Y'all don't forget to go order. They online, Mrs. Netta Charles at gmail.com. Don't forget, y'all. Like I said, don't walk, run. They have fell out. Oh yeah, and shipments sh shipments have went out today. Person detected. Hold on. Oh, I didn't know Charles got here to do. Okay. I didn't know he was outside. I thought he was in the house. Let me turn it back up so I can get the other grilled cheese. Oh, I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. Oh, y'all, yeah, I know this the bomb. I'm going to let y'all see in the minute. In the short second. There you go. Y'all see this cheese toast right here? They ain't burnt. Okay, now let me do these while the grease is hot real quick.
turn it back down. Flip this one over. All right, and now put the cheese on it. Take this one and put it on top. Just like that, fit it right there on top of that cheese. And then take it. And flip it. See, everybody do their different. I know mine be a little time consuming because I do all that on both sides. But I just want to make sure my cheese is going to melt. Because I used to use Velveeta cheese, you know, the Velveeta block cheese. And I used to cut it and it used to be kind of thick. Some slices used to be thick and some of them used to be thin. But that's how I used to get it to melt. Well, it don't matter. But yes, that part. All right. So now, since we got that together, we got it looking like this. I'm going to turn it back up. So I can cook on both sides. And that grease can be hot. I mean, this pan can be hot for the next one. See, this right here take love. You got to cook this with love. You can't cook this and go sit down and uh, smoke your cigarette or, or sit down and go watch nothing. You got to cook this with love because it needs tender love and care. Okay. 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 So now this one. Is ready. Like this one is ready. Okay, so while that's still hot, you turn that back on low. Y'all, my pan is, it got some black stuff in it, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wipe it out. Wipe it out, wipe it out. Now, I don't have to worry about that all on my bread. So, in there, you take that, you do your next one. Put it in on this side. Okay, now turn it back on low. What you do? Okay, Lord, this is chilly, baby. And then you take that and you just flip it. Flip it on the other side. Yeah. All right, now it's back on low. So now what you do is you go ahead and get the piece of cheese. Lay it on top of that. And take it and put it on top of that. And then you smash it. Now you turn it back up so it can cook. Turn it back up so it can cook. You just play with it. Make sure you don't burn. You gotta have that love. Turn that eye up. You turn that eye up, you know what you gotta do. Turn that eye up, you gotta stay right here in front of it and make sure it get, the, it get done. Cause you gotta be flipping it. Cause you don't want it to burn. Yes, you guys. Mm-hmm. That's what we doing today. Cheese toast. Cheese toast and chili. We used to do that in school. Our school used to serve it to us like that. Grilled cheese and chili. Well, they used to give us cheese toast and chili. This is grilled cheese. Grilled cheese and cheese toast is too different. It's different. 
cheese toast is something you put in the oven, put the piece of cheese on top of piece of bread, and put it in the oven. Grilled cheese is this is grilled cheese. Okay, this one right here is ready. So what we doing now? Okay, this one right here is ready. So what we doing now? Why? We're gonna take this out. We're gonna put some butter in here real quick while it's hot. And we're gonna do. All right. We're gonna put the bread in here on one side. Why it's hot. Then now, since we got it on that side. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm back on this one. Oh, shoot. Let me take it and flip it over. Trying to get y'all together. Now I'm going to burn my, my bread. Okay. Put that on top of there. Turn this sucker down. And smash it. Okay. Okay, y'all. We almost done. Chili still nice and hot. Okay. This one almost complete. In. Okay, this one is done as well too. I see it, it's done too. Let me wipe this pan out again for this last one. Okay. Let me turn it back down real quick so I can get this butter in here. I can concentrate. And this is the last one, y'all. This is the last one and Charles lunch will be ready. Yes, I'm this is the last one and Charles lunch will be ready. So I can get this out of here. Back in the fridge. I now focus on this real quick. Flip this over. So it won't burn. Okay, there it is. All right, that's the last one, the final and last one. Take that, put that on top. Smash, smash, smash. And turn it up so I can get done. And I'll start throwing this stuff away. Grease all on here for this cheese toast. All right. Is it hot now? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Lord, y'all, I'm tired. That was a long dinner, wasn't it? Long process for dinner. I'm going to turn this on off because this is the final one and this is already about done. I'm just swirling around here and get some color to it. Okay. 
Voila, y'all. We is what you call D O N E. We is done. Okay. This is the last one. Right, let me go and wash these little two dishes out. Guys, it's done. So I was going to ready. Hold on. Let me move y'all over here. Y'all like my new glasses? I got some new glasses. Got some new glasses. New goggles. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So. That completed the, the dinner. I am going to make me some Kool-Aid. No, I ain't had a chance yet to put it in my Folgers uh, thing. Don't open it up over the thing. I don't want no sugar wipe there everywhere. And then when I get through, then I'll let y'all see the food. When I'm done making my Kool-Aid, and then we're gonna set Charles taste it and see what it tastes like. So let me get this sugar in this Kool-Aid. I don't want a whole bunch of sugar. That should be about. Hold on. That should be about enough. It should be about enough. What y'all think? Y'all think that's about enough? Too much? All right, it'll be all right. two packs of Kool-Aid. I got, I, ch I always choose my lemonade and set and put another Kool-Aid pack in it. And it usually be, I do great. I'm doing great today. So. All right, now one. So I go over here and I start and I put my water in it and I whisk it with a whisk. You know, a whisk is better with the sugar. Instead, I put hot water in it. But that's how some people uh, do their tea. They um, some people uh, do their tea. They um, water in it. But that's how some people uh, do their tea. They um, some people uh, do their tea. They um. So my Kool-Aid is ready. So let me go ahead and show y'all my 
my finished product with the Collating Refrigerator. So Charles can eat his lunch. Give me a second. Let me wipe this water off. Places. Uh, I don't like water everywhere because water, y'all know water brain with roaches and I don't like water. I make sure my water has to be wiped down, sink and all. But okay. Alright. Who am I in first? Hmm. You. Alright. Alright, let me show you how to finish product. Here's the chili. It's another homemade chili. Yes. Homemade chili. And I go to grilled cheese. Alright then. You look nasty. Alright. Well, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have y'all have a blessed Sunday. Peace. All right, y'all. Let me take y'all over here and let y'all see the final, final chili. Here it is. There it is. That good old Miss Netta homemade chili. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned in a minute for Charles, your lunch is ready. And y'all gonna see what it's gonna taste like. And here go the cheese toast. Why is what green? I, don't, I guess because it's light right here. Chill ain't green. That's just the lighting. I got some bell peppers in it. I don't see that. But anyway. All right, then. No crescent roll. We doing cheese, grilled cheese. Yes. All right, then, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all for y'all lovely comments and likes and all that other stuff. I really appreciate it, y'all. Just like I told y'all, y'all make sure y'all go get my seasonings at uh, Miss Netta Charles at gmail.com, y'all. Don't forget, today is Sunday, y'all. It is a blessed Sunday, y'all. If ain't nobody told y'all they did, then guess what? God loves you, and so do Miss Netta, baby. Peace.